Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu, and yes, I huddle some Bitcoins, and I like to listen to Bob Marley music, because that makes me chill, and all these dips, don't worry, be happy, all that stuff. Yes guys, believe me, today's video will be a short video, cool charts, TA charts, that will show you exactly where we are, what is happening, and why... You need to pay attention now to the Bitcoin market. Please watch this video very carefully and please make up your own opinion after you saw this video. Let's jump quickly into the charts to show you why I'm talking so exciting about these charts. <laughs> Let's jump guys. Bam. This is the four hour chart. Wait. Hmm. I need some coffee. Uh, on the four hour chart, you can see um, that we yesterday said if we move upwards out of the triangle, we come retest and we go up. We didn't did that move. We went, we broke out. And then we broke out exactly with the width of this beautiful pattern over there. And we broke till the bottom of that, even lower with a wick. Now Bitcoin is reversing again, guys. Yes, we were freaking out again yesterday because everybody said we are going to go to 25K because there is a tweet and there is a guy telling us that we are going to liquidate somebody and we are going to go to 25K. That is why I made a video yesterday that we needed to put a 10% buy order below the Bitcoin price collectively at the community, create a challenge out of it, the people's Bitcoin wall. And then maybe if we all as influencers support that challenge, everybody is going to buy Bitcoin 10% cheaper and make profit. The people that listened yesterday, they did make profit because when I told it, the price was around 36, 37, 3K, 10% uh, uh, land lower was around uh, 33, 5, 600, um, it wicked till there, you bought some Bitcoin sheep and you are now in profit. That is how it works, guys. So I will again tell you about that video at the end. Let's jump into the next chart. This one, bam. This is, of course, the day chart. Very important. I've been talking to this. This is the BLX. And on the BLX, um, it's the raw, the most data of Bitcoin because it goes back the longest till to 2009. Um, you can see that this day candles they are finding around that 200 day moving average. We closed down below it, we closed above it yesterday, and now again we are below it. We need to start to close above that 200 day moving average. That would be the most positive part. In the bull run we have not often uh, closed candles below this uh, line. So it's, it's just important that tomorrow we close above it, but also to be very clear, that won't be easy because the line is around 30, 9,000 something. So we need to go up 2K at least. If you look to this line on the Bybit chart, for example, then you can see the line is around 40,000 US dollar. That is like the day chart. So we need to go up uh, exactly 1,700 to close again above that line. More importantly tomorrow, bam, is this one, is a weekly chart. Yes, keep on staying and watching this video because some really cool charts are going to follow. I know I'm repeating these charts, but I think it's very important that I repeat these charts as well. Please watch till the end because there will be some really cool charts. You don't want to miss them. Hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. This is the weekly chart, going to close tomorrow. We should be closing above the 21 EMA because we have never seen a candle with a full body close down below the 21 EMA in history during a bull run. So it would be necessary to close above 47,500. That is the green number over there. I think that will be very difficult for Sunday, but we never know. In Bitcoin, everything is possible. We can drop with 10K in a day and we can increase and rise with 10K in a day, which would bring us to 50K again. So let's see. It would be very positive, but it's also not devastating when we close a body down below it. It just means that um, that's the first time in history we did it. And let's see how that um, 
will turn out in this bull run. Let's go to the next one. This one, short update on the BFET. Yes, the Bitcoin family automated trader. This one is trading automatically for you. You do need to pay some attention. Normally I say, yeah, oh, it trades for you when you sleep, when you rave, when you re and all that stuff. And then people seem to take that very literally. Um, sometimes you need to check. You know, if we see a huge crash, you need to check the bot. You need to check any bot. The bot has been making a lot of longs in the last couple of trades. Um, all positive ones, all profits. So yes, I think since 19th of May, the bot again is uh, back on track making profits. Guys, bam. Yesterday I made this video. HODL, give them nothing. The People's Bitcoin Wall Challenge. I nominated MM Crypto and Carl the Moon to do the same, to ask all their following to put buy orders 10% down below the uh, Bitcoin price so that we could create a huge Bitcoin buy wall. And that means they can't drop the price below that because there's just millions of people buying it up 10% down below. And if we all buy up 10% down below, then that will drive the price up again and that will make us profits. Um, I just want to create this huge wall like like you know like the movies you see 300 where they create a wall and nobody is able to defeat them we can do this digital we can do this digital by putting buy orders 10% down below the Bitcoin price you create this huge wall that they won't be able to easy drop the price down below that's just what I tried to do hopefully uh, Carl the Moon and Chris will still re um, reply to this one uh, I know they are in Monaco so they're probably on the yard and they're probably having fun but maybe after the weekend they will do if not I will start to nominate two other um, influencers to do this as well guys um, if you want to support the family and poor people all over the world then make sure that if you sign up to these exchanges you use our links because if you use our links a huge part of the revenue goes to poor people so click to the buy bit link here you get a thousand dollar now so even a two thousand six hundred dollar bonus uh, you have a dudex bonus you can have a binance though so all these links use them if you want to book a hotel or whatever use them now sorry that i'm talking too long again because this video is going to be too long again now let's jump into in those others really cool charts that you will love let's jump into bam i hope this chart um, will help you to understand that not only Bitcoin is living in a cycle, but only the, also the FUD is living in a cycle. China has banned Bitcoin already many times. Here, 2013, China bans financial companies from Bitcoin transaction. We saw a dip. Then, again, 2014, Alibaba division bans Bitcoin after China crackdown on IPO looms. Then, again, in 2017, Bitcoin takes a hit as China bans cryptocurrency offerings. How can you ban something if you have already banned it 10 times before? And then again in 2019, how might China's ban affect Bitcoin? So they ban, they unban, and then they ban again, and then they unban. And now again, Bitcoin falls further as China cracks down on the cryptocurrencies. Do you see the pattern? It's not only the Bitcoin price that is running in a cycle, it's also the FUD. And this FUD is created by media. And this media FUD is created so that their billion dollar friends can buy up the Bitcoins cheap from our weak hands starting traders in this industry. Guys, be aware FUD. Bam! Another really cool chart. This one. I need to check if my face is not in front of the screen again. It's a little bit... I will adjust a little bit like this. So this chart is also really awesome. So this is like the psychology of a trader, you know, how you feel during all the trades. So we, 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 we take off and then we get the first sell off, a bear trap, media attention, enthusiasm, greed, delusion. You know, these are all the phase we walk through, you know, the, the, the stealth phase, the awareness phase, then the mania phase, and then the blow up phase. If we look at the Bitcoin card, we chart, we could now be at this first sell off. We took off, we are at the sell-off. And maybe after the sell-off, we get that huge run to 200 and to, to 280,000 US dollar. And then this will be the new paradigm. And then we will get a denial phase again. And all that stuff keeps repeating. It's all cycles that we are moving in. Next chart, bam, oh, it works also like this. Really cool, I learned something again. Yesterday I already talked about this chart, but I didn't spend a lot of attention to it because it started to rain. 2013. You see in 2013, guys, which is very clear, here we dipped below the 21 EMA on the weekly. And now in 2021, we dipped down below the 21 EMA and we turned around already. So we are going to go above that line again. If we look at the yellow line at the bottom, that is this line, that is a 2013 line. 
this line, this is the moment over there that we dumped down below that uh, two, 21 EMA. Then we went up above the 21 EMA and then we had that huge run to there. Do you see this? Now, I will put it over there. Now, we are doing the same, guys. So, this red line, this is 2021. We just dipped down below the 21 EMA. We are reversing again. We are coming up. And now, what do you expect? I think if you look at the yellow and the orange line, the previous runs, we would expect something like this, minimum. A little bit lower, maybe, like to there instead of there or there. But then even that would bring us to 150 to 200k, guys. So that is what I am expecting now to happen. So I think down below, above, bam, up. That is, I think, the move that Bitcoin is making. And bam, that would also be in line with this. You can see all the runs that we did before in Bitcoin. Yes, we had some sell-offs here. And then we had this huge run there. And then, of course, the bear here. Yes, we had a sell-off here. And then we had these huge runs. And then we had the bear here. Yes, in this here, the yellow thumb as well. Sell-off, run, bear here. And now we are in this purple one. Sell-off. What do you expect? I think run and then the bear here. And this run, not this arrow like this. <laughs> this sell-off here, run. That one. Again, the arrow. I don't know why it's making an arrow. It wants to make an arrow. Don't make the arrow. But I'm going to say like this, sell off, run, and then the bear here. Something like that. So that is what I think is going to happen. And if we zoom into the chart that we all have been following for a long time, plans B, stuck to flow model, bam, that is the last chart of today. The thing that you need to look at here is very important. Every time we, um, we came near, wait, sorry guys, every time we came near, the dark area bottom, the dark area bottom of the cloud over there, you can see it. Do you see this? That we are touching this dark bottom and over there, we are touching the dark bottom. These are the optimal buying moments. Over here, at the bottom of the dark uh, cloud, the bottom of the dark cloud, all of these moments, if you would have bought, you would have been in profit, massively in profit, all of them. Here, massively in profit. Here massively in profit here oh sorry here massively in profit and where are we now again at the bottom of that cloud you will be massively in profit and why because we are going to turn around with the price in bitcoin and we are going to go up like this and bam above this blue cloud and then come down again and then again and make this beautiful barrier and then again in 2025 bam above it something like that guys um, that is not beautiful how we drew it i don't know why the line is doing that maybe i should use another line let's try this one so i think we are going to go like this above it and then maybe double it and then you get the bear time again and then 2025 you start to build up again bam something like that yes that line is better but it's a little bit fat <laughs> not like the be fat but it is also it's a fat line guys um that was it for bam today that was everything i want to share with you guys because uh, at saturday i need some day off i need to drink coffee and do some family stuff today as well hmm. i hope you enjoyed the short family video about uh, my wife's birthday she didn't want to film too much she wanted to have a short video so that's why we did it uh, thanks for watching this video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up Share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. And if there is any other question, pop it down below this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you tomorrow again in another video. Oh yeah, today I'm doing the Dutch AMA. And so I'm speaking Dutch in a live VMA, we call it. Vraag me alles, ask me anything. Tomorrow I will do an English AMA. Thanks for watching and see you today, later or tomorrow. Bam!